Orangutans are unique in the ape world. Of the four kinds of great apes, gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, and orangutans, only the orangutan comes from Asia. The others come from Africa. Modern zoology distinguishes between two orangutan species, Sumatran orangutan and Bornean orangutan. There are also three subspecies of Bornean orangutan which mainly differ by the areas of their habitat. Hence the name, these great ape species exclusively inhabit the rainforests of Borneo and Sumatra. Orangutans are believed to be a relic species. At the end of the Pleistocene period some 12,000 years ago, their range was much wider, encompassing southern China, Indochina, Java, and southern Sumatra. The species is now extinct in all these regions. Orangutans are the largest tree-living mammals in the world as they spend up to 90% of their day on the tree. These great apes manage to fulfill all their daily needs while staying on the treetops, sometimes as much as 120 feet above the ground. Here they rest, use leaves or branches to arrange sleeping nests, and find sufficient amounts of food. Usually orangutans don't need to descend to the ground even when they are thirsty. They consume water that collects on the leaves. When water is difficult to get, they chew leaves to make a sponge to soak up water from tree cavities. Unfortunately, the wild population of orangutans has decreased by almost 50% in the past century, so today they are classified as critically endangered animals. Although recent climate shifts may have been responsible for some of this decline, there are other negative factors that threaten the future of these animals. They mainly include human activities that cause degradation and destruction of their habitats, poaching, and large-scale fires facilitated by various weather phenomena. Orangutans are the largest fruit-eating animals on Earth, but they are omnivores, so they eat both vegetation and meat. The orangutan's diet is mainly composed of 300 kinds of fruits. Orangutans have tremendous arm strength, which enables them to hang upside down for long periods of time to retrieve fruit or eat young leaves. Fruits make up more than 60% of orangutan's food intake, but these great apes also rarely miss a chance to feed on vegetation, flowers, bark, honey, insects, and even bird eggs. Orangutans are strongly built. They have short bowed legs, very long, strong hands with opposable thumbs, and flexible hips for holding on in any direction. This body structure and such adaptations enables them to climb trees with ease. Female orangutans are much smaller than males. Because of the size difference, females can be easily told apart from the males. Also, males will more often travel on the ground than females. Adult males can grow up to 54 inches tall and weigh close to 200 pounds. Females are usually about 45 inches tall and weigh up to 100 pounds. Orangutan's arms stretch out longer than their bodies, over 75 inches from fingertip to fingertip, and are used to employ a hook grip. When on the ground, they walk on all fours using their palms or their fists. Unlike the African apes, orangutans are not morphologically built to be knuckle walkers. The bodies of both males and females are covered in reddish-brown hair, which darkens as the animal ages. The orangutan's hair color is unique in the ape world. Unlike other apes that have very strong social bonds, orangutans are semi-social. Adult males live primarily alone and only come together with females to mate. In some cases, orangutans choose to live in small groups, which consist of up to four animals and mainly include a couple of adults alongside their dependent babies. The territories of different groups tend to overlap. 
But while females can tolerate the presence of other orangutans and won't show aggression unless their babies are threatened, males rarely miss a chance to confront each other. The intimidating growls of the larger male usually force the weaker animal to leave without a fight. But if it doesn't work, males start fighting. They charge, grapple, and bite each other. They sometimes look like sumo wrestlers. Besides being larger than females, male orangutans have cheek pads and a throat sac. The throat sac is used to make a very notable and recognizable call that echoes throughout the forest. This is called the long call and is used to locate and advertise their presence to females or to ward off other males. Orangutans have the ability to make 13 to 15 different types of vocalizations. Male orangutans emit long calls in the direction they plan to travel, allowing other members of the community to plan accordingly. Female orangutans give birth only once every eight years. This is the longest time period of any animal. Females usually give birth to a single baby, but on rare occasions, two babies are born. Weighing close to four pounds at birth, the newborns rely on mother's milk as their main source of nutrition. For the first six to eight years of a young orangutan's life, its mother is its companion. During the day, a young orangutan holds tight to the mother's body as she moves through the forest canopy. Until another infant is born, mothers sleep in a nest with their offspring every night. It takes up to four years for the baby to show the first signs of independence, but youngsters still stay under the supervision of their parents for a few more years. The orangutan has the longest childhood dependence on the mother of any animal in the world. Orangutans use this time to pass their wisdom of obtaining food and defending the territory. The mothers teach the younger generation what food to eat, where to find it, and during which seasons. The babies must eventually know hundreds of species of plants and trees, which ones are edible, and how to process them. Some are very difficult to extract because of sharp spines and shells. The young females stay with their mothers until they are into their teens, allowing them to observe mothering skills as they watch their younger sibling being raised by the mother. Once they reach maturity, orangutans spend most of their time alone, or, in the case of females, with their immature offspring. On average, orangutans live from 30 to 40 years in the wild. And because of their slow reproduction rate, orangutan populations can be very hard to recover. The orangutan is one of humankind's closest relatives, sharing nearly 97% of the same DNA. Similarly to other great apes, orangutans are characterized by incredible intelligence and wit. Their great cognitive abilities can be proved by various observations of animals that are kept in zoos. According to the zoo workers, orangutans are capable of learning how to use tools like sticks for gathering food or for fishing out fruit that was mistakenly dropped into water. When it rains very hard, the orangutan makes an umbrella out of big leaves. Orangutans are very observant and inquisitive, and there have been instances when orangutans tried to escape from zoos after having watched their keepers unlock and lock doors. One captive orangutan was taught how to chip a stone hand axe. The tool was then used to open and extract fruit from their shells. <laughs>